The media player in Canvas for audio is really large, it takes up a lot of space, and it's not the prettiest to look at. Let's use some HTML code to make it a little smaller and more appealing on a Canvas page. Hey guys, it's Lauren and I'm so excited today to show you in this video some HTML magic. And so we're gonna turn the traditional MP3 media player in Canvas and make it smaller, sleeker, so that it fits within a Canvas page a lot nicer and it'll still be really nice and usable for your students. I have opened up a Canvas course and the first step in order to add a audio media player to pretty much anywhere in Canvas is we have to have an audio file. So what we're going to do is we are going to add that by going to files and then clicking upload and selecting the audio file that we want to add. So I'm just gonna do this little test one and it's going to load. So now that the audio file is loaded, I need to go place it within, let's say a Canvas page, a Canvas assignment, anywhere where there is a rich content editor, I can add a media player. So I have in this tab right here, a page, a Canvas page, and you can see here's the rich content editor. So to add the media, player, we are going to select this little icon right here called the record slash upload media. When you click it, it'll bring you this drop down menu and you're going to select course media. Now from here, the audio file is loaded so I can just click it and it is going to place itself right over here into the rich content editor. This is the traditional look of what a just classic canvas audio media player looks Looks like and the problem with it is that it's really big and it kind of gets in the way of some things and it doesn't make the page look very nice so I'll even save this and we can get a look at this so yeah it's just blocky and really all I want is this play button so what you're going to do in order to change the way that this looks, uh, you're going to go to Teachers Pay Teachers and you're going to find my resource, my free resource. And this is the HTML editor code key. You're going to download this and open it and go to the table of content and you're going to select audio minimized player. All right. So on this slide, we're going to copy this code right here, copy the this and we get a little preview on the right side of this slide. So this is the before, this is the after. So let's go back. We're going to go back to this page, click edit. We'll just leave the media player right there. And I am going to select now the HTML editor button so we can see what that media player, the traditional one looks like before. And I'm going to paste in the new code here and then we can actually see the preview of it before. Now you'll notice there's no media, there's no file attached to this code. So what we have to do is we have to go back to Canvas files and then we are going to right click the file that we want to add to the player and then select copy link address. So from there, we'll go back to the page, click on the HTML editor and where it says URL, we are going to paste in that copied link address twice and then just scroll down, hit save. And now I can play the first one and I can play the second one. So here you have the two audio media players kind of side by side or really one's on top, the other's on the bottom. And now what I can do is I can, I can just get rid of it like so and look at how much space is left to work with on this page. So being able to essentially make that audio player smaller just allows you to play with the page a little more, make the page more appealing. And also you can add these now like anywhere without them consuming the entire page. So just wanted to show you guys this and I hope you try it out in your Canvas course. Thanks guys so much for watching this video. I really hope it was helpful. Again, the HTML code key, I have left that for you in the description below. And of course, if you found this video to be helpful, I would greatly appreciate a like. That's how you support me here. Also subscribe, subscribe to my channel because I'm gonna be bringing so many more Canvas LMS tips and tricks to this channel. And of course, if you have any questions, feel free to leave those in the comments below. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next video.